Madness. Madness tight on the heads of the rebels. The bitterness erupts like a hot blast. Broke glass. Rituals of blood on the burning. Served by a crowling fighting. Five nights of horror and of bleeding. Broke glass. Cold blades as sharp as the eyes of hate and the stabbings. It's war amongst the rebels. Madness, madness, war. The Cold War is over, and we're living in a, a very dangerous period where nobody knows what is going to emerge. The Americans are talking about a new world order, but I think what they mean by a new world order is American domination of the world, um, or the G7 countries' domination of the world. Um, and if that is what the ca if that is the case, then I'm afraid there's going to be a lot more conflict, because uh, people from the third world, uh, people from poor countries, are no longer, I think, going to be prepared to live under the domination of these big big powers. It was in April 1981, down in the ghetto of Brixton. That the Babylon them caused such a friction, that it bring about a great insurrection. And it spread all over the nation. It was truly an historical occasion. It was event of the year, and I wish I had been there when we run riot all over Brixton, when we mash up plenty police van, when we mash up the wicked one plan. When we mash up the swamp beauty one, for what? They make the rule of them understand that we not take no more of them oppression. How can there be calm when the storm is yet to come? I just wanted to uh, swarm up by reading a couple of things from these notebooks I, I write in when I'm ever I'm in, in a airports, train stations, hovercraft ports. Open wide! Your eyes! Your eyes, you idiot! No, I'm not an artist. Artists are not, it's not my trip. I mean, what I'm doing is my life. I don't do art, as in I don't have this thing that I do and then take off when I leave the studio. This is, I am what I do and I do what I am. It's just all I got. I don't have my on-stage thing and my off-stage thing. I just am. Okay. Okay, you're, thank you. <laughs> that's the part that's really scary. <laughs> you do not want to fuck with a human being who can house that kind of pain. A woman can give birth to a kid. A woman can pass through like, a hole this big, a woman can pass through this screaming, bloody, violent, horrid, squiggly infant that's like, ah! And she's been housing for nine months. You want to fuck with a creature like that? You want to insult someone who can take that much pain, who deals with five days of blood a month? How dare you? You guys don't have much common sense. What do you consider a normal relationship? I don't know. I've never had one. <sighs> Fuck you, okay? <laughs> people call you a misanthropist. What, that I hate people? How do you uh, stand towards the human race? The meanest bunch of people I ever met. <laughs> what is the goal of your performances? Is there a goal? No, I just go do it. <laughs> Could you describe us your youth? Violent, full of self-doubt, fear, and paranoia, and humiliation. I hate the cops. I hate Sam Goodies. I hate looters. I hate this whole shit. I hate, I hate the pigs. I hate Daryl Gates. I hate the misuse of power. And I hate these fucking citizens, you know? You talk a lot about hatred. Why is that? Uh, maybe I'm consumed with it. 
a, there's a store in Columbia, South Carolina, in America, that has become kind of legendary. It's across the street from this club called the Blue Note, which a lot of bands play at. And there's a store across the street, and all they sell is alcohol, guns, and ammunition. And then on the outside, there's this placard that says, liquor, guns, and ammo. And every band, as soon as you pull in, you look across the street, liquor, guns, and ammo. You start laughing. I mean, liquor, guns, and ammo. How more of a fucked up combination can you get? I'll take that, uh, that, that 20 gauge, uh, two pints of Jim Beam, and about 150 rounds. Ooh, it's Saturday night. And you could, pay, you could pay for the whole thing with your American Express card. You could. And with a, with a rifle in America, you don't need to wait. You don't need to have a license. All you need to do is be able to pay. So you could, if you don't have a criminal record, if you have a driver's license, any kind of generic identification, you could walk in at 12 noon to liquor, guns, and ammo and come out at 12.05 with, like, a 30 odd 6 500 rounds of ammunition, like a case of beer, and like two quarts of scotch. Hey, how fucked up is that? You know what it's called? It's called freedom. <laughs> hey man, I'm free. <laughs> yeah. Watch this, here's our freedom, goddammit. I think the, uh, the government will just stop taking all the efforts to make it seem like they're trying to be eat fair. I think they're just gonna come flat out and just go, look, if you're black, forget it. <laughs>